Greetings, Katasak. Vertir Tumat, what can I do for you? How is my cousin doing? He's filled with dread as death approaches. Forgive him his mood swings. He's such a young boy, and he had so much desire to live. Thanks to my treatment, he suffers less. But his disease is getting worse, and I don't know what to do. It would take a power far superior to mine to break the grasp of this evil. I'm looking to meet Enomil Frichtemann. I went all the way to the village council. But they did not let you speak to Glendan the Elder. Precisely. They said that only the friends of a member of the council might enter. And my word was not enough. It seems that I must be a mal to be hurt. Do not be sad, daughter of Bladnil. One day you will be as great a chief as your mother. And you too will have a seal. This seal will allow you to give voice to the friends of your clan. Those who may speak in your name. Here, friend of Wenshavye. Take my seal and go and meet Glendan. But you must convince him and no doubt pass many trials. Many monsters and traps are hidden on the path you seek to follow. Thank you, Katasach. Why are you helping me? We do not wish to lose the one who placed his life in my hands. And you have already shown me your friendship. I hope that Glendan will allow you to meet this god, cousin. Leave as soon as you can. Godspeed. Have no fear. I'll do whatever it takes. I must go. What are Willem's sake? You have returned. The rule is still the same, you know. Here is the seal of the Denegad Katasach, of the village of Wenshavie. And so you are a trusted friend of the great healer. He must see your true face and find it worthy. Enter. You are welcome. I give you warm greetings, Glendan. I am Desarde, legate of the Congregation of Merchants. Your merchant congregation sways me very slightly from my part. But you are a current of Katasach. His trust in you makes me stop and look at you. What brings you here? I seek a remedy. My cousin, as well as many other people on our island, suffer from a terrible sickness. We think that only Enon Miel Frichtemann can help us find a cure. Really? And Katasach sent you to see me? He told me that the only way to meet with your god was to come and see you. You would judge our worthiness. Judge your intentions? Yes, that I can do. But even if I should do this, you would have many trials to pass. For the path you seek to follow has only been tread but a very few times, and you are the first Renaixe to set foot upon it. We must begin where everything begins. There is a trial. The trial of water. 
It will show us the reflection of your soul. What must I do? You must go to a cavern and tell me what you see on the seal you will find deep in its center. And this cavern is guarded, I suppose? That is true. But the simplest solution is not always the best. It is a path with many forks. I hope you will prove that you understand the spirit of our people and our island. Go now. Show us your true face and return purified by the waters of the cavern. What can you tell me about your god? That the word god is too small to hold him. He is Tia Fradi in all and everything. The wisdom of his people, the gentleness of his rivers, the strength of his volcano. You are looking for wisdom to heal the Renaixe, but you still see it with the eyes of a sort of Donegat. He is much more than that. He is the essence of all life, of all magic, the spring. I must leave. Goodbye. Kwa awelam seg. You have spoken to Glendon as you wanted. What more can I do for you? I was asked to pass the trial of water. What do you know about it? I have never passed it. Only those who must reveal their soul walk this path. The High Kings and Queens. It is a tremendous honor given to you, Renaixe. Do you have any advice to give me? I only know that the trial can be passed in many ways, and your choice will reveal the makings of your soul. One way is through strength, the other by ruse and heart. But I know no more than this. The trials are kept secret. Anything else? Nothing else, thank you. I need to leave. Good luck. And do not lose yourself in your own reflection. Siora, do you know anything about the trial that awaits us inside? My mother passed it during the last election, but it was Vinbar that was elected in the end. Did she tell you about it? A little, but it is a secret trial. It is important that you give your whole heart to it. I know that you must choose your path in your way. Combat is not necessarily the best response, even if it allows you to get to where you are going. If you are confronted with animals, remind yourself that they must feed. And there are ways of altering food to make those who eat it fall into a deep and peaceful sleep. Hmm. Is that an idea that your mother used? It's clever. Thank you. Look, they're eating the old carcass. If you poured some sleeping potion on it, they'd fall asleep.
You did it. They're sleeping. We should be able to pass without a fight. Watch out, another! You were freezing and you had this empty stare. The water in the basin spoke to you, no? Yes. Exactly like the lightning struck tree. I was something else for a brief moment. Tell us. Visions like this are guides, a keys for the sacred rituals. I was in the sky. I was floating, carried by the wind, and it was a cold feeling. I was high up, and it was getting colder and colder. I felt my blood freezing in my veins. I fell to the ground and spun slowly. And then the sun warmed me. Suddenly I bounced on the ground, and I was taken by the bubbling current of this creek. Then, just like before, the vision dissipated. And I was suddenly with you again. This stone bears the image of a storm. Or perhaps the wind. Here this looks like a snowflake. The snow... On this stone, the sun is visible. This stone is adorned with the etching of a drop of water. This must be the seal that Glendan spoke about. It looks like the silhouette of the mountain of Tirfredi. And a face is drawn within it. The spirit of the volcano. One of the faces of Einar Neil Frichtemann.
Per tir to mad on all Manawi. I congratulate you for passing the trial. Enter. And so you have returned. Can you tell me what the seal deep within the cavern brings into your mind? A face in the mountain of Tirfredi. Then you have seen the true face of the island when looking into her waters. And the island has seen inside you. You sent the beasts into a deep sleep. That was very clever. Another before you did the same. In choosing the path of silence, you avoided confronting the Dosantats. Finally, you have completed the ritual. And in so doing, the Guardian recognized you as a wise man. You choose to trust the way of rules and wisdom. It is a difficult path, but it carries generous fruits. The island has seen your intelligence and also your compassion. The friendship of Katasach towards you no longer surprises me. Am I authorized to encounter Enor Mil Frichterman now? To present him with my request? If the High King agrees, yes. We shall not oppose that decision. Only a High King or High Queen is allowed to open the sanctuary. I warn you, your voyage is far from over. I suppose that I'm going to need to convince them as well. Where can I find them? I do not know. And I believe that it may be another trial on your path to find the one you seek. Is he hiding? Has he been captured? He disappeared several months ago. Since then we have not heard from him. He was worried about the Renaixe. The last people to have seen him, I'm told, were the most important chiefs of the clans here at the council. There was Dedra, Blatnid, Ulan and Dunkas. My mother, alas, can tell us nothing more. Yes. I heard about your loss, Yora. And the Vorsh Tirse. Morning is a difficult time to pass. And the Vorsh Tirse. Thank you, Glyndon. Dedra is the Mal of the clan of the Storm Warriors. You will find her in the village of Vedlug. I've already met her. She sent me to confront a guardian. That sounds like her. Ulan is the Marl of the village of Vignamri, near the coast. It is said that he welcomes the Renaixe. As for Dunkas, he leads the Vigigidor. He is the chief of the Earth Healers. His village is not very far from the Didekid and Nadagais. Very well. I will go and see them. Try to find this High King. Thank you, Glendan. Kwaawalamsek. I hope that you will find him. Karantz. I need to talk to you. I have to ask you for another favor. I'm listening, Siora. Do you remember the mind shakers in my village? Yes. If I understand correctly, there was some kind of an agreement made with them. Even though these priests would make good allies against the lions because they hate them as much as we do, my mother would never have traded the spirits of the people of the village in exchange for their help. And she would have wanted to be buried according to our rituals. She was deeply attached to our traditions. So you think that they're lying? Yes. And you understand these Renaixe better than I do. Will you investigate this matter with me? Of course. Let's go.
Hello, my child. What a pleasure to see someone come to us with such eagerness. Do you want to hear the word of Saint Matthias and come into the light? Not really, Father. My name is the Sarde. I'm the legate of the merchant congregation. Nice to meet you, Your Excellency. What can we do for you? We would like to know more about the agreement you supposedly sealed with Bladnid. I do not see how our agreement concerns the congregation. But since you are asking us, we swore to provide this village with all our support in their fight against the Alliance. In exchange, its inhabitants will have to renounce their pagan cult and turn towards the light. My mother would never have made such an agreement. She's the one who encouraged me to become a Donegad. The Queen had understood that the light was the only true path, even if she was attached to traditions. It is for this reason that we have accepted to seal our agreement according to your own rituals. She had an engraver come to Valristal. He carved your strange symbols in the stone. I do not believe a single word of this. You, the people of the light, are nothing but liars. You would do well to hold your tongue, young lady. This village is now under our spiritual authority. By not respecting us, you are committing blasphemy. And blasphemy is a crime that we punish severely. Because you think that you can administer justice here. I am the daughter of Bladnid, and you are... Siora, let's not get into another battle and make new enemies. Let's go find this stone. That is an excellent idea. Then you will see that we are telling the truth. Here is the stone we were looking for. It is destroyed. We can no longer decipher the symbols. Strange, isn't it? This stone was damaged on purpose. We will never know the precise terms of the agreement. There may be a way. Promises in stone are a very ancient tradition. Those who want to make these agreements must turn to a keeper of promises. An artisan who makes the stone speak. There are but a few. We did not have one in our village before Karadek's arrival. He must be the one who engraved this stone. I thought you could not write. The Donegada have a secret writing that the Keepers of Promises always learn. Those who want to seal a promise tell them to write and they take care of it. It looks like no one's there, but the door's left open. Empty. Everything is broken and turned upside down. A sculpted engraved stone. What happened here? It seems like there was a fight. Everything is scattered around. Someone went through this workshop like a tornado. The owner must have left in a hurry. Taking a few things and destroying the rest. Unless someone else did this. We must find Karadeg. Do you know where he might be? This engraved stone bears the mark of Beraeg Nodas. Don Cass's clan. Do you remember him? Karadeg originally belonged to this clan. He may have returned. Let's go to Vigigador and we'll find out.
What brings you here on Omanawi? We're looking for Karadeg, the Keeper of Promises. Did he come back to your village? He, he did come, and then he left. We could not take him back. Did you exile him? Why? He is the one who left. He disagreed with our stance on the Renaixe. He thought that we should be fighting them, throwing them back to the sea. This is why he joined the Gaesrad. And I did not want him to return if it meant that he would bring his hatred with him. Do you know where he might have gone? He feared someone or something, and he wanted to hide. He must have left for the woods south of here. He knows the area well. Is there anything else? I must leave. Goodbye, Dunkus. Kwa Awalam Seg. It is Karadag. He's over there. Siora! Bertir Tumad Donegad! What are you doing with these strangers? These strangers are my friends, Karadag. You can speak in front of them without fear. What do you want? Tell me about your role as Keeper of Promises. What does it consist of? Most words must be free, and able to fly like birdsong. But some words must survive those who utter them. So they call on the keepers of promises. Those who want to become one must win the trust of the Donegada and prove their wisdom. Then they teach us the words of stone. And when someone wants to seal a promise, we offer them those words. So you're a kind of cleric? Hmm. Thank you, Karadek. Do you want to know anything else? I must go. Thank you for your help. Renaik, say, you have returned. We would like to ask you about a stone you supposedly engraved. It is the stone of the Renaik, sir, isn't it? Oh, he should never have accepted to seal such a promise. Oh, I did not like them, but I could not refuse to fulfill my duty. Not when Bladnid was demanding it. And now that she is no longer with us, these 
Mona Sinaiga are chasing me. It is because you are the last person to know what was engraved on it. The stone has been destroyed. I kept the piece of tree bark in which I prepared the glyphs. All the details are there. With this tree bark, we could verify what my mother promised. Can you give it to us? No, Don Agad. I do not mean to disrespect you, but I will not. Rinaigse only bring us trouble, and you come with them. They will disappoint you just like they disappointed your mother. I do not want to deal with them ever again. They threaten my life, and because of them, I am forced to hide here. Since you want to chase the Renaigse away, and since you want protection, why don't you join the Rebels? We could indicate the location of one of their camps for you. The Rebels? The Donea Exregao. They fight the Renaigse, and they accept people from all clans. I have heard about them, but I didn't know where to find them. We could help you join them, but we need this tree bark. It's the only way to prove that the priests lied. In that case, Take the tree bark. I hope that it will help you to chase these Renaigse away, Don Egad. And I did not think I would say this one day. But thank you, Renaigse. What do these glyphs say? That we will assist the priests in their war against the lions, and they must help us in return. There is nothing about the spirits of the people of the village or renouncing our traditions. I knew they were lying. Let's show this to Iseld. My child, what can we do for you? Do you maintain your version of events regarding the pact with the Queen? Naturally. Really? Because we found the man who engraved this stone. A man that you wanted to silence. He gave us a piece of tree bark with the words the Queen had asked him to immortalize on the stone. You see? Destroying the stone was not enough to hide your lies. This is... Regrettable, but apart from this child, we are amongst civilized people. If this village is so dear to you, then you know that it will not survive another assault from the Alliance without our help. Even if they don't know it, they need us. What would you say if I offered you this hefty sum of money to forget about your unfortunate discovery? For the sake of the village, of course. Don't count on me to support your lies. That is regrettable, Your Excellency. Because of you, these poor children will be slaughtered by the Alliance. And we were told that you were receptive to the light. How do you think that he will judge you? And what will Teleme think of a foreign diplomat sabotaging the mission of their priests? I cannot believe these mind shakers tried their lies on you. Let's go see Azeld without delay. We must tell her that they lied and chased these men away from our village. Karantz, do you need something? I must leave you. See you later. Siora, Asir, always with your new friends. Bertir to Madiseld, I'm happy to see you. What do you want? Azeld, about this pact your mother supposedly made with the priests. Yes. Did you find anything new? We went to Falristel to see the stone. Were you able to read it, Siora? No, because it was destroyed by someone. 
I am certain that the priests did it to protect their lies. You're probably right, but for as long as we cannot prove it... We retrieved the piece of tree bark that Karadeg used as a model. Siora, what's written on it? Mother promised to help them against the lions, and they promised to help us in return. There's nothing mentioned about them settling here. And even less about them being entitled to the spirits of the people of our village. So they lied. They mocked us and insulted the memory of our mother. I think it's high time they left. Don't you agree? I think so too. Come on, let's go. You lied to us. You took us for gullible children. Leave this village at once. You will never be welcome here again. But if you want our help with the Alliance, your people must convert to the light. By lying, you have insulted the memory of the Queen. The entire village will be happy to make you pay for your affront if they hear about it. You do well to leave before having to face their wrath. We are not here to shed blood. Very well, we're leaving. But we will not forget your role in this matter, Your Excellency. <sighs> I did not think they would leave of their own accord. Thank you, Onol Manawi. Thanks to you, we managed to chase away these lawyers. And we will be able to perform our rituals and give our mother back to the Earth. Yes. Thank you. Our village is in your debt. Siora, I will need you for the ritual. Will you help me? Of course, Asir. Karans, do you need something? I must leave you. See you later. <laughs>